Index Folbert. Life is too short to be drinking shitty beer. Welcome to another edition of Band Bikes and Booze Reviews. I have got a bottle of the Andex Folbeer. Now, you may never heard of uh, Folbeer Fold before, but that is a category of German beer. And it's an antiquated um, style of German beer, which was invented by the tax man. And uh, it was basically designed to tax the, the brewers um, and it's been replicated a few times by some German breweries but not a lot it's not really a popular well I'd say it's a popular style but it's basically a lager or a hell, hellas and, uh, and as you can see this is uh, this has got the hell name written on here or the hell description written up here it's basically a lager, that's what it is. It's just a bottom fermented lager, which falls under a certain tax category that's called full beer. Um, I've had a couple of the uh, Andex beers before, notably the Vice beer, which was really good. I've reviewed that on the channel, if you wanna have a look at that. That's really good. I got this from, I think it was Beer Merchants. And they only do the two. That I'm going to try. A German friend of mine has just messaged me, in fact, and he's drinking some Irish beer, and I'm drinking some German beer. So a German drinking Irish beer, and a and a half paddy drinking German beer. You know what are the odds? I'm sure that must mean something in astrological terms, but who knows? But they're the two that the beer merchants do are the Weiss beer and this the Vol beer so this will be my second index beer from beer merchants I'm going to hunt down some more of their stuff because I really like the Weiss beer they f they're from Bavaria and they're a monastery brewery and they use them lovely German Munich Pilsner malts which are really good and I've got some other beers that you know are waiting in the fridge that I'm assuming have got them as well. I'll be reviewing them soon. I'm not going to name names because there's a few of them in there. I've just had a big delivery from Beer Merchants today. It's the only way I can get some decent beer at the moment. But um, yeah, at the moment, you know, they're doing some really good stuff, and I want to get as much as them from my, as I can before it sells out. And I liked Andex, and this was available, so I got it. So let's get it open and review it. It's a 500 milliliter bottle. It is 4.8% in the ABV. It's brewed to the German purity laws, as far as I can tell. It's just got water, uh, malted barley, hops. It's got hop extract in it, which, you know, it doesn't really make a difference. Hop extract can mean the oil or the pellets. It, you know, it, it doesn't really matter. They, it all tastes, well, I wouldn't say it all tastes the same, but. Um, it's all hops at the end of the day so they're not infringing on the purity laws um, let's get it open and let's see what is on the nose right here is the cap now I had trouble showing the cap last time but you may be able to see that now let me get it the, the fucking sun's come out. I don't remember if it's because the German beer's come out, but it's basically an index cap. You can look that up. That's what it is. There's the label. Nice green label. Everything in German on the back. And I can see, just by holding up to the light, there is minimal carbonation, which is a really good sign. So, let's get this into the glass 
and let's see what's going on. I'm not going to sniff it out of the bowl, I just want to get it in the glass. Oh, do you know what? I might as well. Yeah. Again, lovely German Pilsner malt. And I was expecting that as well because let's just carry on pouring this all out in there. I'm putting it into a tankard. I'm assuming this is something like it would be served in, in Bavaria. There it is in the glass. Lovely golden straw colour. There is a fair bit of carbonation in there now. There's a one finger white head on the nose out of the glass. Yeah, more of them lovely, sweet, slightly smoky Bavarian Pilsner malts. Mmm, really good. Let's get it down the hatch. Prost, as they say in Germany. That's not bad, but it is slightly disappointing. I was expecting them huge Munich malt, Pilsner malt flavours. And I'm not really getting that. It's all a bit subdued. There's a lot of carbonation in that. There is some of that. Munich malt in there but the flavours are very very subtle which is slightly disappointing for me don't get me wrong it's still a nice beer they're still a nice beer but it's not got the big flavours that Paolana have in their Hellas that huge smoky slight, almost like smoky bacon malty flavour that just dominates and is so Moorish. I think they've secretly put crack cocaine, dark chocolate and nicotine in their malts somehow. Disguised the flavour but just kept the addictiveness because I can drink that until the cows come home. On this I'm not really getting it but having said that it is <laughs> it's pretty good it's got that flavour in it, don't get me wrong. It's there, but it's subdued. There's some lemon citrus on that, and you know, the usual SARS hops. I'm, I'm almost certain it's either Halatau or SARS hops that, that they've got in this. Probably Halatau, I'd imagine. Mm. Yeah, it's probably Halatau. I imagine the, the SARS hops. There's no none of that earthiness you get from the sars hops on the slight spice, but it's still good. I'm just slightly disappointed that there's not more of the malty flavour. But all in all, you know, it's doing everything right. Everything that a lager should do, this is doing. Uh, I think it was under three pound for a 500 ml bottle, and it's going down very nicely indeed. <laughs> So what's the verdict? Well, um, to be honest, they call it a Volbeer. It's just like a normal lager, to be honest. There's not, I defy anyone to say, or to discern the difference between a Volbeer and a lager. To be honest, as I say, it was invented by the German taxman years ago to tax brewers. And I think that they come up with this style of beer to dodge the taxes. So yeah, it's, it's just a, a a Hellas, a glorified Hellas with it under a different name. Uh, this particular one, it's got the the nice, as I say, the nice smoky, biscuity malt, slightly smoky bacon type flavoured malt. Uh, there's a yeah, there's a bit of lemon citrus. There's the mellow hop flavour 
which I'm assuming come, is coming from the Hallertau hops. And yeah, it's just a nice, clean drinking, very refreshing German lager. And I like it. And I'm going to give that 8.5 out of 10. And I'm going to recommend it, but with caution, because if you're, um, obviously if, you, if you're in Bavaria and you've got no other choice, then drink this. But if you're hunting down beers online, which you have to do because of this coronavirus bullshit, um, the Paulana stuff is better. The Augustina stuff is better. So there's better out there. But on its own merits, this is not bad at all. And that's why it's getting an 8.5 out of 10. And I'm going to recommend it. And remember, beer is working class champagne.